Hey, it's James from Fin Electrical. On today's video, we're installing an EV charger in this beautiful sun. Look at this. Oh, it's absolutely sweaty. Let's get into this. All right, then, so I think on the last video, you saw Rose installing in a cable down there, so the big fire down there, and the cables into the chargers. So we've got all that in. The cabinet's in now, so what we've done, all this has got fixed down. So it's been a bit of a rush, so I know it's a bit halfway through the video, but <laughs> we've got, so we've got the cables out here. So we've got six chargers coming out of here, and a big fatty here, ready for powering it all up. Uh, here's a three-phase fuse board. So that's gonna sit that way up there. I'm gonna drill the holes in the bottom, get those glanded in, and then that'll be all that. Then we've got these little three-phase type A, RCBOs to go in, so they're, they're going to feed the chargers and then we'll just show you the chargers then. So the cables have just come in, up the pole. There's a little entry at the back, so that's that. What else we got? So when you're doing this, you've got to kind of rotate the phases. It's not phase rotation, you've just got to wire it um, in a different order. So when single phase units come along, it's going to use a different phase. If you wire it all the same, they'll end up using the same phase and it's the power sharing's not going to work as it should. So. There you go, so it's just powering to here, and then what have we got? A little data connection here then. So the data comes in on the left from the from uh, the last charger and then comes out of this one to the next charger basically. So by linking them all, they can all talk to each other to make sure that the if they're all on at once, they're gonna reduce the current, so it's not just gonna set fire to the cable. So that's called uh, dynamic power sharing. So that's what we've done there. What else we got? So we've got these in, so there's quite a few gone in with the data's between. We've used a five core cable, so we've got obviously L1, L2, L3, neutral and earth here. So that's that. So with the chargers, with this, uh, there's basically one called Pro, and that's got the brains for the whole thing for the power dynamic sharing. Is that right? DPS dynamic power sharing, it's called. <laughs> uh, so that's got the brains for the unit. So by interlinking them with data cable, so it's like an armored data cable with a screen, so it doesn't have any interference from any of the live cables. Uh, the power, so the pros, the, the brains, that will, by linking them all by the data, um, the pro can tell the light or elite what to do. So these are like the, the dummy ones, or the slaves, some people call them. So they're just taking instructions from the pro. Um, when one guy comes in with a three phase one, 22 kilowatt, second guy, 22 kilowatt, up to four, 22 kilowatt. As soon as you plug in your fifth one, it's gonna kind of drop them all equally. Um, to what about 16 something like that so they're they're not all um, gonna well it's not gonna push over that 100 amp limit and set fire to the cable so that's what's going on there so then as far as installing these then so this company's made their own pole so this is the pole they've got uh shell recharge with their own pole but they want to save a little bit of money but they've basically made it wrong so there's like a little cut out here um and there needs to be like a little u for the cable to come in so what we had to do was basically cut a big hole out of the pole for the cable to sit in because trying to mount this was a bit of a nightmare and the, the two bottom fixing holes need to be slightly further in so we've had to do a bit of cone cutting and, and get a little wash on there to fix this back it's been a little bit of a nightmare but that's all good so then it's just four raw bolts down at the bottom we've put a hole in the back and the cables come up so it's just one from each power source to each pole so you've got loop in loop out here it's just one six mil to each one or ten mil depending on the cable run or how it's run. And then from here, it's just your data cable connects into that left side and then connects out the right side and that's it. Nice and easy. Alright then I'm going to crack on down here and get this, get this three phase fuse board in. So we're going to bang that up there. We've marked out what's going to go in. So we've got a big big 50 mil compression gland going in there and then three uh, 20 mil glands going in there for the, for, the, for the other armored cables going out to the chargers and then that'll be it. So we'll get that done next. There we go, that's that drill, looking beautiful. So all we'll do is get them grommeted up next. We've got the big fat. So it's, the reason why it's a plastic is that we don't want to take the earth from the building. We want to, basically there's a thing called a matty and that basically runs an earth through the matty and if there's um, something called a pen fault, um, that matty will trip and it will disconnect the earth along with the line one, line two, line three and neutral. Um, so if we connect to the armoured earth, which would be the building's earth, into here, it will bypass the matty, which is not what we want. So what we're going to do is use a compression gland. I'm going to tape off the armoured so it doesn't interact with it. Um, and then that way we can just wire into here, do a little loop into L123 and neutral. And the earth for this, coming from the inner core, is from the outgoing of the matty. So it's the earth 
will be disconnected along with all the other cores for this full installation, the fuse board and all the chargers so it'll be safe under a pen fault um, situation. There we go, I'll just re round this then. So this is a satisfying bit really. Oh yeah, look at that. That is nice. There we go, that's what we'll do. We'll get this unwrapped then. It comes with like a little, oh, a little wrap around it. There we go. Oh, I'm worst cameraman ever. There we go, come off too. And they should have gone deep enough, which I might need to go a little bit more deep enough. But basically, you just pull on a 45, you're going to get your hand around here, so I might be able to do one of them one handed. And you're going to go normal then from here to here. If you bend it right over to here, what'll happen is that these armings will start looking like this once it snaps. So we don't, we don't want that. We'll just give it a little quick wiggle like this. Should come off nice and easy. Yeah, right, then, so what we're doing, we're just gliding this in now, so that's all in. So we've just gone for a curly whirly in, there wasn't enough room, so we've got to go this way around for that one. <laughs> so it's a bit shallower, these boards that we've, we've supplied for this. Um, so, as far as the armour is in, so we're just getting these cut down now. And what we're going to do is get the, the uh, there's like um, what do you call it? a shroud, which will slide over, then we'll have to slide the this part of it over. And then what we'll do, is get those made off, pulled up into here, and then it's just like a little lock ring, which looks like this, also known as banjo. And then we're gonna use the lock nut. There we go, sorry. That's just called the banjo, and that's the lock nut. There we go. So that's what we're on with now. So I'm just reaming it, and I've got this lad here just uh, cutting to the bottom. And there, we're just neating it up now. So we've got all these on, so we've got shrouds on, like we said. We've got the little outdog land. We've got a little bit of uh, insulation just poking through. Now we normally cut it a bit finer, but a lot of people like to leave a little bit more insulation. So the, the idea is that if it bends, if you're bending it, it doesn't cut into the gland. But we normally go about two or three mil past, but we've got a guy down that's got to inspect it all. And he might kick off over pedantic stuff, so we're just kind of um, trying to keep them happy. So yeah, these all these have all been cut perfect, so we've got three to go this side, three to go this side. We'll get those banjoed up, so you've looked there. We'll be able to get those little banjos, drill a six mil hole through here, and uh, get, get um, like a six mil nut and washer, and then we'll crimp a little, a little earth to go up and on into this. And then that'll be the armoured earth, not to the building's earth, because remember the building earth is separated. This will be the mat ease earth, and we'll show you the mat in a bit. So we're a bit further on now, so what we're doing is just clipping these ice of heels in. We've got as uh, cables glanded in, so they have just got to get uh, the shrouds pushed up. So yeah, we've got his little tags in to earth all them. Got the same to the other side, so we'll here and doing this. Um, neutrals, so again, they'll be, the way this is numbered, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the other side. So one, two, three, four, we'll come down in here. And what I do is just wire into the middle. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven down. will be where this goes. So it'll just come down and straighten like that, yeah. So all, all of them will come down, the neutrals, there'll be four neutrals to that side, four neutral that side. Uh, live earth and neutral wiring to here. So again, it'll be um, L1, L2, L3 and neutral, wires into there. And the earth will just bang in this side accordingly. And there we go. There we go, that's in now. So we should use a little fishing magnet with a cloth on just to get all the swarf so all the swarf didn't stick to the fishing magnet. So all well, that's all gone now. A little bit's left. But yeah, so what we're gonna do now, all them are tagged in. 
and push these up to the top, all the way to the top here like this one. Uh, it's all bonded um, and that's about it really. So what we're going to do, like I said, it'll be neutral L123, earth into air for every circuit. Circuits are labelled here, so a charge of one. I know it's a bit spread, but it goes one. Can't find two. Can't find two. Ah, one, two, three. Four, five, six, and that's it. So all these, I'll just go up wire one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be nice and hard. Oh yeah. There we go, all finished now. Just air all glanced off nicely. A little earth link into the bar. The earth's separate coming in, as you see. Earth comes up, we've got these little loopy loos. Just in case these, I don't know if they ever burn out, you've got more kill to play with. That's it, it's looking great. <sighs> Right, we're back. So then, the cable, just because of the bending radius, it has to do with this. You can't get it in the mind, you have to wrestle with it. So that goes at the top of here. Got these little glands here, and then we've got a nice little piece just to carry on that earth from the board over there. There we go, this is my ear device then, the Matt E device. Can't speak to this, so the incoming comes up here, so you can see behind all these cables. But basically, it's live um, L1, L2, L3, neutral, and earth in. This is the device that always sensors uh, between um, neutral and earth. If, it's always measuring the voltage. If it goes above 70 volts, it'll basically trip. So these will trip out. And you won't be able to res reset these until that's, um, that 70 volts has gone away. So obviously, uh, if the neutral coming into the property, because it is a TNCS where the neutral and earth are the same cable, if the neutral um, basically gets disconnected if they're working on it and like, with the cable coming to the building, then oh, I've got a fly kit landing on me. Uh, then yeah, th this this device is going to trip. Um, if it didn't trip, then potentially all the line cables will still carry on going through the circuits, coming back down. But it won't come down the neutral; it come down the earth, which is anything metal. So you want it to trip, really. Essentially, you could have all your cars just being like human fly zappers in the car park, which you don't want really. Do you? So then we'll explain what's going on here. So cables come in, like we said. This is your incoming. There we go, and then uh, if you notice, we've we've we, the braiding is the supplies earth. Here we go. The braiding for that is the supplies earth. However, so here the earth coming in, so L1, L2, L3, neutral and earth is the supplies earth. The earth coming out, so we've got L1, L2, L3, neutral and earth. The earth coming out is through this device. So on the fuse board side, we've got a compression gland, so it doesn't export that earth to the cabinet basically so if we had done a metal gland it would have basically given the the, the uh, cabinet outside the supplies earth which we don't want we want the earth to disconnect in the car park if not you've got human fly zappers here we go here we go we're a bit further on now so we've got these in looking beautiful so that sweeps out down nicely and fastened in there so it's a hundred in split a hundred out there we go so that's to split it over just so these two 63 amps will basically work together um, so this, the, the way it probably works, uh, I haven't read the manual, but basically it'll, it'll, it'll probably be like um, a closed system. So it'll be in series, so through this, through this and back. And if, if this detects the greater difference of 70 volts between neutral and earth, then these will, then the voltage will probably cut and these will basically de-energise and trip together. There we go. So that's my educated guess. But yeah, that's basically what this Matty device does. So then what we're going to do is get the lid back on and then that'll be this section done. So then it's just, I'll show you this side then. So the cable comes in here. I don't like the dent you get with it, so I'm going to spin that around. So there we go, big fatty fuse board. So we've got an MCCB, now these retrofit, they're about 400 quid, so a bit pricey just to, <laughs> to get a connection. Uh, so yeah, we've got that and we've got a little lug there, so the earth actually just nips down here, like that, down the bottom and that'll, this will tag in. And that'll braid that, and then it's just um, brown, black, grey, like this one. Uh, neutral on earth, and then that'll be the full installation all powered up. Hey, we finally got out of there, so a bit of a mad one, really. I can't remember what I showed you, but the matty got done. Uh, I'll try and show some pictures of my phone, but basically, these guys turned around and went, Oh, we close at three. It's like, No, nah, we didn't get told that. So I just had to race around, uh, do that side, and then get out of here um, so we can do the commissioning on this and label things up. So. I'll show, you, I'll show you the bits on my phone. So them zooming here, so we've got that one, it says EV charges, that's in. That's a 100 amp breaker, so it gets glanded out the top. 
Yeah, they've got this matty device there, so that looks nice, nice neat and sweet there. Got a 400 volt sticker on there, and where it's fed from, so fed from DB15L123 because it's two phase. So we've just commissioned the chargers then, so what we've to do then on these chargers is a little serial number under there. So what we've had to do is get a serial number, the pro on all the leaks. Like I said, that, that one I touched with pro, then all the rest are leaks, so the pro kind of tells the leaks what to do. Uh, over here then, we're just kind of finishing off. Da, ba, 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 da. Right then, so this is what we're dealing with. So this is the uh, the board as, as we left it then. So DBV chargers, we've got fed from DB1, 5L123, 400 volt sticker. We've got as a uh, test date and next test date. We've got the um, RCD, which these are RCBLs. And then look at this, we've got charger one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's for the, um, no, I'm saying <laughs> that goes for the pro and then one two three four five six is, is the same number as how the data's wired in and out so it's nice and easy for whoever comes along next so these down here i just had to call um shell ev basically and the lady on the desk uh, just asked for those serial numbers and then she just gets them all online now the customer then can basically log on like an app so you just scan it and you can if it's set up where the client charges you it'll charge you or you might you're about to log in like on your kind of personal id and then you can start charging and it'll charge to you or the company might say you get free parking or free charging so then uh yeah you get to charge for free the other option then is the rfid so that's this here so you get a little tag so you you might want to set up for your staff like um individual tags basically rfid tags so they've all got one put it on the keychain or whatever just boop starts charging it knows who they are and the app will be able to track um like who's charged who's charged when and how long they've you know i mean their usage kind of thing and then if you had a visitor one you could have a visitor one where you you boot that and then they got some free free uh, stuff as well so i don't know some some companies like to charge employees for for charging at work and then you might say your visitors are free or the other way around whatever so you've got loads of options with this kind of system so yeah i'm really happy with the uh how the, how the job's gone then so we've got all, we've got all this um poles in all this power up they're looking great nice neat models little flies on, i don't know like that <laughs> but yeah they're great you just flop it up get your get your tether in there to your car and up and, and you were basically so it's three phase so 10 to 22 kilowatt so i don't know it's going to charge uh something in about three hour you know what i mean if it's like a um, 60 kilowatt battery that kind of thing so just to recap then so what we did we got a cable from the warehouse then the we fed it with the 100 amp into the matty round up into here from here that fed that so what we did, didn't want was the earth thing being exported from the building we wanted the matty's earth to be the only thing for this system so, the, so this whole box is earth uh, this is earth with using that earth and the charges are earth like the metal poles uh, what we've got is RCBOs then so we've got one two three four five six RCBOs which are, which are going to go uh, to each charger so that's it, that's us done down here then. It's a nice tidy job, like we said. We've got those poles there, cabinet there. Little pole there, little double pole there. So yeah, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when next upload. As always, I'm going from me, and I'll see you on the next one. There's all stuff in my pockets end up with. What's going on? <laughs>